So, in lecture 2, we will continue the uh, atom to solid structure. So, today we will discuss about the matter which is made of atoms you know these thousands and thousands type of matter in the universe exist, but all of them are made of atoms either of single type of atom or, or more than one type of atoms. And also we know that there are 90 types, 92 types of atom are found in nature, but there are few more types of atoms which are invented in laboratory and they are not found in nature. So, whatever matter is found in nature so, that are made of mainly this 92 types of atoms. Uh, so, matter in universe are found mainly in four types. or in four states. So, it is a solid state, matter is found in solid state, then it is found in liquid state, gaseous state and plasma state. So, mainly this uh, in these four states we we see matter in universe, but there are some other state of matter uh, under some extreme conditions. So, which is not found in nature, but one can artificially one can create some other states also. However, we will concentrate our discussion on this fourth state and then we will we'll come back to the solid state. So, solid state, liquid state and gaseous state these are quite familiar to you, but plasma state is not much familiar to us. So, plasma state is basically this is a gaseous state of negatively charged electron and highly positively charged ions created by a by a heating of gas or by applying gas to a strong electromagnetic wave. So, as for example, so this uh, lighting storms, then interior of sun and stars. So, they are the basically in plasma states and other three states is basically neutral atom. This also atom, but it is ionized form so. 
So, these states solid state liquid state gaseous state. So, these states are formed due to the aggregation of atoms and how to how to differentiate these different states so that we will discuss. So, in terms of interatomic distance of between atoms, we can we can define these different states. So, you know that atom generally is considered a spherical hard balls. having positive charge and negative charge. So, these are nucleus and the surrounding this negative charge electrons. So, interatomic distance in terms of interatomic distance we can define the states. So, interatomic distance is basically the distance between the center of two atoms so center to center distance gel we take as a interatomic distance now this interatomic distance when it is very large. So, in assembly of in assembly of atoms in assembly of atoms. So, when this distance interatomic distance are large, then it is basically it is in gaseous state. When this interatomic distance are very small, it is The atoms are compact so this interatomic distance these are uh, very small then it's uh, solid state and when intermediate distance is in between these two so then it is basically liquid state okay. so rap estimation one can do for for this interatomic distance. So, in case of gaseous state the interatomic distance the average interatomic distance is around around uh, in this case it is around 30 angstrom and in case of solid the interatomic distance is say around uh, I think in the range of 2 to 4 angstrom and liquid it is in between it is uh, it is around 5 to say 10 angstrom. So, one can estimate this this interatomic distance. So, as per example 
we can we can try for that gaseous state. So, so you know that that interatomic distance of gaseous state uh, we can estimate, but for that we have to consider we have to take a gas in a in a container and uh, we have to keep that gas at a particular temperature and pressure. Okay. So, generally we consider the natural temperature and pressure that is atmospheric pressure and room temperature. So, at this natural temperature and pressure, we know that one mole gas contains Avogadro number of Avogadro number that is n equal to 6 point zero two three into ten to the power twenty three number of atoms. So so one mole gas at NTP this its volume is its volume is twenty two point four liter twenty two point four liter. So, twenty two point four liter means twenty two point four into ten to the power three milliliter or or centimeter cube. So, this also since the distance as I told for gas average interatomic distance is around 30 angstrom. So, we want to get this volume in, in this unit angstrom unit. So, one can convert it. So, say 22.4 into 10 to the power 3 into 1 centimeter, 1 centimeter equal to 10 to the power 8 angstrom. 8 angstrom. So, centimeter cube. So, it will be 10 to the power 8 cube angstrom cube. Okay. So, this 22.4 into 10 to the power 27 angstrom cube. So, in this volume this how many number of atoms are there this this many numbers of atoms are there. So, average volume for one atom we can find out. So, average volume <coughs> for one atom in that gas one atom. So, that will be V by n. So, that will be 22.4 into 10 to the power 27 angstrom cube divided by divided by 6.023 into 10 to the power 23. So, it will be basically it is 4 times 6 is 24. <coughs> so, slightly less than 4. So, it is uh, I have calculated. So, it is around 3.72 into 10 to the power 4 
angstrom angstrom okay so that is the volume for one uh, one atom so uh, if you if you consider a cube so then the length or width or breadth uh, height of that cube you will get taking the uh, taking the cube root of this volume taking the cube root of this volume so so that that will be the average distance so average distance so that that is that will be basically cube root of cube root of 3.72 into so this one can write basically 37.2 into 10 to the power 3 angstrom so 10 to the power 3 it will so cube root it will give 10 and then for this so basically we can write into 10 angstrom So, so cube root of this one, if you calculate, so it will come. Sorry, this is thirty-seven point two because you have to multiply with ten. Thirty-seven point two. So, uh, so this uh, this will be between three and four because three into three into three twenty-seven. 4 into 4 into 4 this is 64 so it will be in between so if you just calculate you will find it will be 3.34 into 10 to the power into 10 angstrom so that is basically 33.4 angstrom so as i told this its its uh, interatomic distance will be around 30 angstrom so after calculation also its its around 30 angstrom okay so that way one can estimate the estimate the interatomic distance for 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 uh, liquid for uh, solids so basically if you know the density of of of, of these states, so from there one can one can calculate number density. So one has to find out number density. If you know the density rho, if you know the density rho, so density is basically mass per volume. So from mass you can find out the number of atoms uh, 1 gram mole contains 6 the Avogadro number of atoms. So, uh, so basically then you can convert to this this mass density to the number density. So, basically number of atoms per unit volume. So, then 1 by that number density if this I write mass density, so one has to find out number density. So, 1 by that number density that will be the basically uh, volume of that. Uh, so, from here this way also one can find out the uh, interatomic distance, it is just estimation, it is uh, it is not exact. So, one can just guess what will be the order of the distance uh, in case of gas, in case of uh, solid and in case of liquid. So, so 
So, now we will we'll see the solid state of matter, solid state of matter. So, matter in a solid state, solid state of matter. So, in solid state of matter, uh, atoms are very close to each other. Atoms are very close to each other and they hold each other. So, what is the origin of the of the force to hold them together? So, this origin of this force that is basically electrostatic force, magnetic force also it is there, but it is very weak. So, mainly electrostatic force ah hold atoms together in solid. So, so from where that electrostatic force are coming? So, if you if you take atom so two atom at a say distance r, interatomic distance r. So, this atoms have nucleus and negative charge. So, when they come close to each other, then that electron electron nucleus nucleus. So, nucleus nucleus. So, the repulsive force acts and on the other hand electron of this and the nucleus of the other one they are opposite charge. So, and vice versa. So, electron of this and nucleus of other one. So, they will attract each other. So, both attractive force and repulsive force are acting uh, on, on, on this system up to say two atoms. So, in, in solids there are many atoms. So, similar way this, this type of force will act with other atoms also. So, this repulsive force and attractive force uh, acts on the system. So, that net force net force on the system one can write. So, this force generally we say in its force it is basically proportional to the electrostatic force it is proportional to the power uh, to the to the sum power of the um, interatomic distance inversely proportional to the power of some to, the, to some power of the interatomic distance. So, so, one force will be repulsive and another force will be attractive. So, if I if I write so this atom A and this atom B. So, if I write A this basically A and B these two atoms and A here I am writing as a some constant characteristic constant of this atom. So, A by R 
to the power some power say m and another force is if I write this power to the power some say n. So, main leave this 1 by r to the power m and another one is 1 by r to the power n. So, this a b m n are constant are constant and depends on the and depends on the depends on the atom. So, it is called atomic uh, uh, it uh, is basically called this characteristic constant of atom. Okay. So, if you uh, so net force will be the basically this you have attractive force and the repulsive force. So, if you take summation of them, uh, so you will get the total force. So, one force is basically repulsive and attractive if one become positive another become negative. So, but in case of in case of interatomic distance hmm, here uh, internal energy potential energy basically represent better way than the force. So, uh, the force from force one can find out the internal energy say you are. So, these are this force is basically function of function of r. So, one is uh, one is find out the uh, force at equilibrium distance stable configuration. So, if this is the force then one can find out the potential energy for this system. So, basically one has to integrate this force with respect to distance and if you integrate it. So, then basically so, it is not difficult to integrate. If we integrate it, so basically you will get that I can write directly the expression. I can write directly the expression. So, uh, so it will come like this r to the power m minus b r to the first n. So, a b is basically new constant new characteristic constant. So, this uh, when you will integrate you will this a you will get in terms of a b a m and n. So, that we define with new constant a and b okay. and uh, I think this will be plus. So, this uh, so from this potential energy you can find out the minimum potential energy because system prefer to stay at minimum energy. So, you can find out a equilibrium distance for where the energy of the system will be minimum. So, say at, at distance at distance r equal to r 0. So, this u r will be u r 0 will be minimum. U r 0 will be minimum. So, for that basically that there is a procedure you know that 
if you differentiate this one with respect to r and find out energy at r equal to r 0. Okay. So, so when this will be 0, when this will be 0, so for that condition what is the value of r that will be r 0 if we tell that is r 0. So, that will be the equilibrium distance. So, if you do this step then you will find that you will get r 0, you will get r 0, you will get r 0 basically equal to say b by a, uh, b by a uh, power is uh, yeah, b by a n by n. 1 by n minus a. So, that will be the equilibrium distance for that the energy will be minimum. So, system will prefer to stay at this interatomic distance. So, that is the in solid when it is found uh, it is in solid. So, that will be the basically interatomic distance, we will tell this is the interatomic distance and that potential energy versus distance if you plot from that expression, uh, we get really this type of curve. So, this is u r and this is r. So, this will be the minimum energy and that distance means one atom is here, then another atom is here. So, that that will be the r 0. So, that is the basically interatomic distance. So, thus solid that atoms in a solid uh, will be stable and they will have interatomic distance of this range and this R 0 is generally uh, 1 to 4 angstrom. Okay, thank you. So, we will continue.